It began out of St. Anthony's Hospital in Denver, and they had the first um, the first helicopter, and they actually used a French-made helicopter called the Alouette, which is different than the ones we have currently. But at that time, there was a great need, especially with the mountains, to get people out of the mountains quickly and back to Denver, to the higher level trauma centers, medical centers, and uh, that's kind of where the concept of air medical came. Um, and since there's been, you know, programs all over the United States and all over the world, but um, as far as the U.S. goes, Flight Flight Colorado was the first one. Um, initially, they had the helicopters fly with one pilot and one nurse. We currently fly with a nurse and a paramedic as medical crew, and our pilots are still flying solo as the single pilot, so you don't have two people flying the helicopter. We basically are like a little flying ICU. That's why we fly with a nurse. We can do um, a few more things in the helicopter that you can't normally do in an ambulance or um, in a smaller facility. And so that's what we achieve to bring is um, bringing an ICU to that patient and keeping them stable while we're transporting them back. Um, we transport them mainly to um, the Denver facilities. We also bring them back to Colorado Springs. Um, Children's Hospital is one of our uh, biggest destinations as far as uh, flying patients. And we have Flight for Life has uh, four call or four helicopters. They're based out of Denver, Frisco, Colorado, Pueblo, and here in Colorado Springs. We also have two fixed-wing aircraft that can go a distance of 400 miles in the perimeter, and if it's further than that, then they have a Learjet that um, flies out with patients. We also have some ground units, and that includes our neonatal team, which has the tiny, tiny babies, and so they um, transport the tiny babies, and they usually actually go by ground, they don't go by helicopter. So. Um, Speaking of helicopter, we'll talk about the kind of helicopter that we fly, we fly for life, and that's a AS350B3. <clears throat> These aircraft are excellent for high altitude uh, flying. Um, in fact, in 2005, this model set uh, the world record on Everest at 21,000 feet. So uh, it's a good aircraft, single engine, uh, single pilot, uh, about 847 shaft horsepower. Uh, so we've got plenty of power pick the patient up uh, 11, 12, 13, 14,000 feet if we need to do that. The other thing is that these aircraft uh, have a range of about three hours depending on the fuel that you put on them. Um, in the summer we're a little bit more limited uh, because of, uh, of the temperature and uh, so we kind of keep our fuel down a little bit on that because sometimes from here we have to go right up to Pikes Peak uh, and rescue somebody up there or help someone business of rescuing, I should say, we're there to medically help them. So, um, <clears throat> the aircraft itself is a, is a French made, just like the Alouette was when we first started the program back in the early 80s. Uh, Eurocopter, uh, it's, a, it's a good, dependable aircraft. Um, the pilots like flying it, and when we do fly it, uh, we work together as a, as a team. Uh, the pilots on the controls, but we all make decisions in that aircraft when it comes to uh, safety of uh, the occupants and decision making, whether it's uh, good weather, bad weather, uh, whether we need to turn around and go home. Uh, but uh, important, it's very important to, to understand that we work together as a team uh, for me uh, to get the, everyone home and for them to take care of the patients. So, Although we work together as a team to get out there and get back, they're doing a different job than I'm doing because they don't want me to work on the patient. So, um, uh, the other thing is that we have the capability of flying night vision goggles, which really enhances our safety. Um, so, when we go up in the mountains or out to east somewhere and it's very dark out, out uh, then we can spot uh, overheads on vehicles or lights and things we couldn't see a few years ago. Um, so that's the other thing. We have a 24-hour operation here. We fly both day and night, and sometimes it's uh, it can be a little risky, um, but we all make, like I said, are involved in that decision-making process. Um, that's pretty.
pretty much it.